All right, everybody, grab your popcorn because today we are doing something very special. We are going to be learning game-changing tips for the Vision Pro. I hope that didn't cause motion sickness. Let's go, buddy. All right, let's start with my favorite. Whenever I make a click sound or a pop sound or actually a lot of other sounds, I can have my Vision Pro do specific things. Check this out. When I make a click sound, the home menu automatically pops up. And when I make a pop sound, the accessibility shortcuts automatically pop up that I can quickly toggle on and off. Which, by the way, if you don't know what those are, more on that later. Crazy, right? I'll show you how to do it. Go to settings and then go to accessibility and then go to sound actions. Here, we'll get a list of different sounds we can make and then we can assign different actions to them. So I have click assigned to home. I have pop assigned to accessibility shortcut. You can actually have a bunch. And then if you go to practice up top, it'll show you which ones these are. So if I click la, la. My, you might not be able to hear that, but Vision Pro made a little la sound. And then when I do it correctly, so la, boom, great. So that way we can learn how to do it and then we can assign it to different actions. And there's a lot of awesome actions you can choose from. So definitely check this out. You can even do shortcuts, which probably don't work that well yet, but you get the point. All right, moving on to the next tip. Safari is a critical app in Vision Pro and we can actually have multiple open at a time. So if I look up at the tabs, I can tap and hold down one of them. A tab will start floating. And then if I just drag it out, Boom, there we go. Now I have multiple Safari tabs at once. So I could have basically a YouTube app playing right here, and then I can be browsing the normal web on a different Safari tab. Another interesting thing I believe is, look at that, you can grab multiple at once, which why would you do this? I'm not really sure, but I do feel a bit like a Jedi. Also, another really cool thing you can do in Safari is pinch and zoom out to actually open all of your tabs at once. I feel like a superhuman. This still throws me off how cool this is. Another thing you probably have noticed is that messages do not have pinned people, but you are able to actually do that by hand manually by just long pressing one of the contacts and hitting pin and then now it will be at the top. It will not mess up whatever pinned contacts you have on your iPhone or Mac. For some reason they don't sync, but that's how you do that with that. And then also let me go ahead and open the menu button here because you can do a very similar gesture with people here. So as we see, I have Lee, my girlfriend pinned. And if I wanted to pin say Daniel Wall, then all I'd have to do is long press it, tap the three dots here and then hit pin at the top. Now he's up here, pretty crazy. Siri and Vision Pro is still a little bit rough around the edges, but there are some useful things she can do. For example, one useful thing I do with Siri is have her change location. So if I say, hey Siri, take me to Mount Hood. She will go ahead and change our location. We can also use her to change the time of day in the environment. So if I say, hey Siri, change it to nighttime, it will make it night. And then of course, hey Siri, make it daytime. Would you look at that? She does stuff, good job. All right, go away. Siri can also set the volume. So if I say, hey Siri, set the volume to 50%, she will go ahead and do that for us a little bit faster than control center or turning the dial or whatever you gotta do. Another thing you may have noticed is Siri will open apps wherever you happen to be looking at the time of the commands. I think the fastest way to open apps are to go, hey Siri, open Safari. Hey Siri, open music. Hey Siri, open podcast. And yeah, you get the point. Siri can also close all apps at once. Just say, hey Siri, close all apps. Goodbye. We can also assign relationships with Siri. So if I say, hey Siri, Lee is my girlfriend. She'll ask, do you want me to remember that Lee is your girlfriend? I'll say yes. So now I can say, hey Siri, text my girlfriend, I need pizza now and she'll know that it is Lee. So that's a nice little feature right there. We all know typing is very awkward on this thing. That's why it's very nice to have either a Mac that you can connect to externally or a Bluetooth keyboard. Now, when you are using an external keyboard, you'll notice that when you look at something and then move your mouse, it'll actually teleport right to where you're looking. So for example, I'll look up here and then I'll move my mouse and boom, it, the mouse teleported right up there. Another really nice thing is using keyboard shortcuts within these apps. So for example, if I wanna make a heading, I have to click down here and then go to heading or subheading, whatever one I want. It's a bit tedious. So what I can do instead is hold down command. And if the app has it available, which a lot of Vision Pro native apps do, as well as some third-party apps, a cheat sheet of the keyboard shortcuts will pop up and I can scroll and find whatever commands I use most often and then try to memorize the keyboard shortcuts. So that's pretty nice right there. So for example, if I wanna say this is a list and I wanna make this a title, I now know I just have to hit command shift T and it will make it a title or command shift H and 
it, it will make it a list. Another really nice thing having an external keyboard unlocks is spotlights. So I'll open it up by hitting command space, just like on a Mac. And we basically have a new version of spotlight that does very similar things. So if I want to type in like, let's say display, then I will get display and brightness settings and I can look for things in messages and maps and notes and podcasts. Basically works just like normal spotlight. You even have the dictation up here, which if I just stay looking at it now, it is trying to type everything I am saying. So I'll hit X to close that. And we can do pretty much anything we can do in normal spotlight, but for the Vision Pro version. Another really nice thing I use Siri for is to jump to specific sections in the settings app. So if I say, hey Siri, show me my persona. She will automatically go to this section after a little unlock. She will automatically show me this creepy little thing. So now I don't feel so alone in this headset. Oh God. Last Siri tip is to actually use her when writing. So for example, I can say, hey Siri, what are synonyms for scrum diddlyumptious? Here we go. Now I can find synonyms for words and antonyms and random things like that. So try to use her. She actually can be useful a lot of the time. Please don't hate me for praising Siri. She'll get better. Another awesome thing we can do is drag and drop things out of apps into other ones. So for example, I have Google images open of frogs and I can just long press it, drag it over and then plop it right into my notes. This works for messages and a lot of other apps as well. All right. If you remember in the beginning of the video, I made a sound and it opened up accessibility shortcuts. I'm gonna show you what these are and how to use them. So if we go to settings, we can go down to accessibility right here and then scroll to the bottom and then you'll see accessibility shortcuts. I'll go ahead and tap that and I have a few of these selected. I'll tell you why I selected the ones I did. So you can basically turn any of these on and play with them, but I turned on background sound because when I click this, it will just play a nice rain sound over everything else that I'm doing. I also turn on increased contrast, which is really nice for when you're doing stuff at night, as well as reduce white point. Reduce white point will make everything a bit darker. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a couple of apps here. Like let's bring up notes again. Here we are and let's say it's nighttime. One thing that the Vision Pro does not have right now is night mode for the different apps. So what I would do is open up accessibility shortcuts, which you can do by, as you see up here, triple clicking the digital crown, one, two, three. Now it opens up or I can do the sound effect if you want to do it that way. And I can turn on, let's do reduce white point. That makes everything just a little bit darker, especially the bright points in the app. And then I'll open up accessibility shortcut again and click increase contrast. As you see here, unfortunately it is still white, but some of the border is a lot darker. This in combination with saying, hey Siri, make it nighttime has allowed for at least a bearable nighttime experience until we actually get night mode lighting for our apps. Oh my God, look at that thing. That's terrifying. Okay, moving on. Okay, the last one that I actually use is pointer control. If I click this, I'll actually be able to see exactly what I'm looking at. And sometimes the eye tracking can get a little bit wonky. So if I wanna just double check where it is, I can pull this up in accessibility shortcut and I'll know if I need to reset my eye tracking. It's also pretty nice as a pointer if you wanna share stuff with people. But an even better pointer if you ask me is how I have been doing this entire video, which as you see, everything I look at is actually being highlighted. Let me show you how to do that right now. The setting is also in accessibility. All we have to do is go to display and text size and I can do increased focus state. I turn this on and now it will highlight everything that I am looking at. This can just make it a bit easier to know when you want to pinch stuff or of course it's pretty good for sharing content as well. And finally for the last tip, if you have a bunch of windows open and you want to focus on just one, all you have to do is long press the X button and then hit hide other apps. All other apps will close except for in this case Safari. Hope this helps. Let me know if I missed any below. I know we're all still learning since this is brand new, but yeah, follow for more also. Peace, y'all.